Hello everyone. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a blessed day today. Today at Miss Brenda D's place, we're making some steamed cabbage. Here I'm showing you how I cut up my cabbage. I usually cut it in half, then I cut it in half again. Then I remove the core and then just start chopping. After chopping up your cabbage, make sure you go to your sink and rinse them well. Here I have sliced up some salt pork, or you can use bacon or turkey, whatever you desire to use in your cabbage, you use it. I have added just a little oil to my skillet, and what I'm doing, I'm cooking this just like if you was cooking some bacon. You, What you do, you, you brown it on one side, turn it over, and brown it on the other side. This is how I want it to look, just like this. And now I'm gonna add my cabbage. As you can see, I am adding my cabbage, but at this time, do not add any water because there is a little water that's coming from the cabbage as I'm putting it in my large skillet. Okay, I'm putting the remainder of my cabbage in here and I'm going to let those cook. Here I'm adding a few jalapeno peppers. This is optional. You do not have to do it. And I'm also adding some black pepper and a little salt. Do not over salt your cabbage because remember the meat that I put in it, it does have a little salt in it as well. Some people even add a little sugar to theirs. So make this recipe yours. Okay, now I'm, I'm mixing this around, this cabbage around. And now I'm adding just a little water. And we'll stir them around again. And I'm gonna add my lid and I'm gonna let these steam and you go back time to time and check your cabbage to see if they're the tenderness that you like okay y'all our cabbage is ready uh what we're gonna do we're gonna plate up our cabbage y'all cabbage is so simple to make and it's it's in they it's so so good for you um some people don't like the salt pork that i put in there I just used what I had, and so I had some of that on hand, so I used it. Um, but you can, like I say, you can always use bacon or turkey meat or whatever you want to use. And I also made some hot water cornbread to go along with my meal, and I made some air fryer chicken, and that I put barbecue sauce on it. And so our food is all ready. I'm plating it up. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all can get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers that have joined our family, uh, you're welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. As I always say, you're always welcome to Miss Brenda D Place. We love y'all.